Hello. Uh, for those who are among you who are not familiar with the Monday Club, uh, you might wonder why I'm getting up now in the middle of the night when there's still a big list of people to play. Uh, there is a reason for that. Um, I wrote a song 11 years ago um, for the Monday Club because a lot of people would get up and swear on stage. And I wrote it as a morality tale about the perils of swearing. Um, and since then, for 11 years, I've been singing it every week. And when I haven't sung it, Ian Prowse sings it, so he's away. Um, I'll sing the song myself. If you don't know the words, I'm sure you'll know them at the end. Uh, please join in and sing along, that's the idea. It's a song called Hide the Sausage. It is available on Spotify under my name, Harry Jones. Um, and uh, I have had a problem with my voice for the last four weeks. Um, so if those of you do know the song, please join in and sing along and help me out. I'll be delighted. <laughs> One Sunday afternoon, I was gardening like a loo, so I could settle down and watch football. The match it was a ball, it took them two hours just to score. My wife said, let's have chips, what a good call. Now the chip shop man and me, we had some history. I didn't like that he was always swearing. He never jeopard me if I didn't have the right money If I ordered a split portion just for sharing But I always stayed polite, I thought it was only right Onion gravy and chips twice, please and a sausage He wrapped them up quite quickly, I've never seen him work so slickly No sooner my way home back to our cottage when I got the feast back home, my wife was off the phone. So I had to run the task to put the food out. Imagine my despair when the sausage wasn't there. I went straight back to the shop for a shootout. I marched in with face like thunder, siding customers were somber. Anyone could tell that I was raging. In my state of height and ire, I thought I'll fight fire with fire. And with these very words, I did engage him. I said, where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? Where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? I was hoping to enjoy a lovely Savoy. Now where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? You bastard! He said, who are you calling a bastard, you bastard? Who are you calling a bastard, you bastard? Your position is diminished by the fact I haven't finished. Wrapping up your stuff before you fucked up. Well, I phoned up your wife to tell her of the error. She said it was all right, you were an easy going fella. Now I work for Canard, and we smoke like this on ships. Now you were fucking bored, and you can whistle for your chips. Well, I went home to my wife, who was ashamed of me quite rightly. She said she couldn't eat, though she was famished. And from my consumer rights, which used to be twice nightly, I found myself indefinitely banished. Because I said, where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? Where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? I was hoping to enjoy a lovely saddle boy. Now where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? There's more. Now the moral of this tale is to think before you speak Resisting the temptation to get the meat It's not big or clever to swear And if you get it wrong you will be banked off the base without a chippy So don't say where's the fucking sausage you bastard Where's the fucking sausage you bastard I was hoping to enjoy me a lovely saddle boy now where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? Your turn on your own. Where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? Where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? I was just a two inch tall, I was a two inch tall. Now where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? 
beautiful day we be want. When it be fucking sausage, you bastard. When it be fucking sausage, you bastard. I was hoping to enjoy a lovely Saturday morning. Now when it be fucking sausage, you bastard. Beautiful singing, well done, thank you.